you're a parent, grandparent, or a caretaker who really wants to share your love of the natural world with the young children in your life, are you always trying to think of ways to make that next hike more fun? Experience less complaining? Well, stick around for today's episode of Take 5 with Jack as we explore different ways that we can have more fun enjoying nature with children. We've spent the last three episodes exploring the healing properties of nature and the forest atmosphere. In this episode, we want to give you a few activities that will help you to share this amazing connection with the young children in your life. Now, the wonderful thing about kids is that they're already so open to nature and to receiving new experiences, but they don't necessarily experience things the way we do. After all, they're not just mini adults. And as every parent and teacher knows, young children have very unique needs and abilities. Young children have rapidly developing brains tuned to sensory input from everywhere. They learn best and experience the world through movement and play. A long, boring hike is not very stimulating to an active young mind, so keep it playful and have fun. Remembering these important points can make the difference between worn out and bored or engaged and connected. So to help you make the next outing with your little ones more meaningful, we're going to take you on a little nature walk with us as we share some different activities that you can do together. Today, my friend Penelope is joining us to help demonstrate some of these fun activities. How old are you, Penelope? Seven. Awesome. And since I'm not Penelope's mom, we're going to be practicing a little social distancing. You ready to go, Penny? Yes. All right. Begin with some free exploration to let your child meet the forest with their natural enthusiasm. Of course, always remind your children how to explore safely. Stay on trail, give animals their space, and don't touch any plants without asking a grown-up first. As your child's enthusiasm begins to calm, you can play the sound game to help them really begin to connect with the forest through the sounds of wind, water, birds, and other great nature sounds. And as we explained in episode three, you simply have them sit or stand perfectly still and silent with their eyes closed and their ears open. In their head, they will count as many different natural sounds as they can. And to help them keep track, they can count on their fingers. Every time they hear a new sound, they raise another finger. After one full minute, let your child share what they heard with you. And as you continue walking along the trail, encourage them to keep listening, adding more sounds to your list. This game is also very helpful in getting your child to move along the trail and avoid some of the complaining that can crop up when a child is either bored or just doesn't know how to engage with their surroundings. Keep your walk long enough to explore, but short enough to avoid fatigue. You can just walk for a little while and then enjoy one of their favorite stories under a beautiful tree. By now, your child's energy should be a bit calmer. This is a great time to help them engage more personally with their surroundings by doing a fun activity like bark rubbing. Let your child choose their favorite tree. Ask them if they could give their tree a name, what would it be? and then help them take a bark rubbing of their tree. You just need a sheet of paper and the flat side of a crayon. Be careful not to hurt or damage any plant life in the process. When your young child gives you the cue, you can begin to head back. If you need another trail game to keep them happily hiking, try the rainbow game. Simply challenge them to identify as many colors as they can that are not green or brown. It's amazing what they'll notice. So 
Just remember, the key to helping your little ones have meaningful experiences with the natural world is to keep it fun, playful, and not too overwhelming. We may think it's important to reach that monument or achieve a certain goal, but if you can see nature through their young eyes, every turn of the trail and every upturned stone can hold excitement and wonder, leading to a bond that will last for a lifetime. If you want to keep journeying with us, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching this week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.